Hi, this is Manan Shalvi, and here are some of the features added in LumaFusion 5.0. Let's start with the new AI person keyer that basically removes the background. Let's see it in action. It has an option to control the erosion distance, the edge blur radius, has the option to reverse the key and has an option for a better quality setting. It also works well with the existing masking tool. For now, let's set this to 2. And let's move it to a background to see how it looks. Works pretty well. Now this opens the door to many effects that we could add. One of the simplest ones that I was thinking of is here's a video with the mask applied and here's a regular video. When we put one on top of the other that creates some kind of separation that basically allows me to do things like for example set the background to black and white or for example apply a vignette but only to the background. As with any regular mask, like chroma key, you can apply any different type of effects. Here's for example, the gear and some comic mix effect. Here for example, and this is inspired by a friend of this channel, Punk80, an effect in which let's start by setting a blend mode, this one, and then add the gear, add the stripes effect, and finally add some green color. And here we have some kind of hologram. This is definitely AI. It identify people, but it doesn't identify, for example, animals or toys or even cartoons that are not fully resembling a, a person. It can work with more one than one person. Like here we have two people. Let's enable the AI person here. And you can see it perfectly identifies the two per people in this clip and marks, marks them out. This is for the AI person here. The second thing that was added here is the ability to copy and paste speed. Let me show you what I mean. So let's create some speed ramping over here. Let's start with speed of one and with a speed of one. But in the middle, let's rise to six. And let's create a, a different type of curve, like something like this. And you're going to see that it's copying not only the, um, the keyframes, but also the um, easing between the keyframes. So now that we have this, let's copy. And when I go to paste on a second clip, now I have this option for a speed over here. Let's use only that option. And when I paste, and let's open the speed settings. And as you can see, it copied not only the keyframes in the relative in the relative position, but it also the the curve of the um the, the of the easing of the speed ramping. The last thing that I wanted to show you is um the ability to show the gain that it's being applied in the in the waveform so you see how the waveform looks if i decrease the gain it immediately gets reflected in the waveform in the timeline so there you go this is it for this episode if you like this video please like and subscribe and i'll see you on the next one